In this deadly forest, we are taking deadly risks. We need to be aware of those risks and mitigate them to the best of our abilities. More importantly, we need to know when to call it quits and just go home. Because many have ventured into this forest before us and never made it home. I know that if I get separated from the group, there is a good chance that I'll just be gone. As crazy as it sounds, our group will be spending the next three days and two nights here. Em đặc biệt rất thích ăn bơ đậu phộng. Sao được không? Được. Ngon lắm. Ăn nó giống cái gì vậy chẳng? Mà nó có giống mới gì Việt Nam không? Ăn phân bò. <laughs> Completely detached from the outside world, surviving on some bread, cheap meatloaf, canned food, freshwater shrimp, and the rare Vietnamese giant tadpoles. Yes, giant tadpoles. We will pass through charming tribal villages, rice fields, then onto the awaiting treacherous terrains. Countless venomous spiders, scorpions, snakes, and tropical diseases. It's not even done. We're we're just sitting down here, exhausted, and just talking about food, what we want when we get back to the city. Nay mà nồng nặc nữa thì mình thành con nồng nặc. Mình thành con đấy là. To a small but growing number of outdoor enthusiasts, trekkers, and soul searchers in southern Vietnam, it is a chance to immerse themselves in the great outdoors. A chance to embark on breezy hikes among the beautiful forests that the hiking trail here gives them. This is one of the many reasons why Ta Nang Phan Yung is dubbed the most beautiful trekking trail in all of Vietnam. However, our group is staying far away from the beaten path. These local men have taken us through the dense primary forest that no tourist has ever been before. No map, no GPS, no phone. The closest sign of human habitation is at least a 10 hour hike away. And no one really knows how many steep hills and rocky killer waterfalls are in the way. It only takes one wrong step, one wrong hand placement, and we could find ourselves at the bottom of the ravine hundreds of feet below. The night before, we drove over 200 kilometers from Saigon to a small village on the outskirt of the forest to meet up with our guide at his house. Uh, this is Sun, a close friend of my brother, whose name is also Sun. The name means mountain in Vietnamese. How apt. Our guide showered us with some of his favorite local flavors. Boiled duck meat with fish sauce and ginger. Cabbage and banana blossom salad. River fish mashed with homegrown tomatoes. And finally, some very strange boning and tough as nail bush meat. Weasel, it turns out. They just caught it yesterday and decided to save it just for us. You butterfly the critter open and grill it over wood fire for 20 minutes and boom, you have dinner. The crackling of the fire, the smell of the burning wood, the headlight instantly set the mood for the next few days. I can't help but feel excited, but also uneasy about what the morning will bring. Những cái món cá này là món này có phải là đặc biệt vùng này hay là món này làm sao ạ? Đặc biệt luôn. Ừ, thử món đấy này. Món đấy là lạ đấy. Không, cái hồ đen đang đi cho mẹ. Bọn anh vô mà mà dân còn nói là điên là đi lại gì. Đúng rồi. Tụi đây tụi đi có gì đâu khổ lắm. Xong mà ở nhà cái cơ gửi xe nhà của chú gì ở dưới cho gửi đó. Oh boy. Let's just say it was in the most tender piece of meat I've ever had. Sun and his family here are part of the minority ethnic group in Vietnam. They are two rules. 
a Cham's related ethnic group mainly living in the highlands of Vietnam. It was estimated in 2019 that their population in Vietnam was over 23,000. In addition to Vietnamese, they speak their own language, called Tru, a Malaysia Polynesian language. Most of them are devout Protestants. We shared our first meal together, and the whole crew got to know each other. Most of them never had the Korean rice wine, known as soju, that we had brought with us, and they immediately took a liking to it, especially the green apple flavor. We ate, drank, and chatted late into the night. The next morning, we woke up around 6 a.m. to the rooster's crows and to the deafening local news broadcast on the nearby public loudspeakers. By 7 o'clock, the whole crew came to greet us and we headed out for some morning chow. Then we all met at the starting of the trek for a quick meeting, going over the plans and safety measures. We finally figured out who would be joining us on the trip. There are four guys that will be accompanying us. Sun runs point on this trip. The other three porters are Kit, Jiang, and Nin, our motorcycle man. Do not be fooled by their small frames and their simple appearances. Every single one of them has a rock-hard 8-pack and an endurance that would make a professional athlete jealous. Combine all that with the wealth of knowledge about the jungle, you get some of the toughest and most rugged men on the planet. However, they are some of the nicest and the most respectful young men you will ever meet in your life. On our side, we have my brother, son, and his overly thick facial sunscreen. My cousin, Chung, who probably will eat half of our food supply. And then there's me, and my pretentious Marine Corps tactical knife. Sun, our group leader, briefly mentioned that the other three wanted to tag along and to cope him for fun. That's how badass they are. I think they decided to come along just in case they needed more people to carry us out of there. Jesus. The unique machines you see here are the regular motorbikes that have been modified for one specific purpose to haul wood logs out of the forest over muddy terrains. The entire body is reinforced with steel bars. The wheels are covered in heavy steel chains. The extra set of shocks is added. <laughs> These little beasts can carry over 700 kilograms or 1500 pounds. Nowadays, they are mostly used to transport camping supplies for trekkers and tourists. It's gonna be a while. Here's all the bros. <laughs> and we're taking a break here at this beautiful location here. This is like an overseer house, just looking out 
Look at this beautiful, just looking at these beautiful rice fields. Wow. Yeah, so we're not gonna stop for, for some food. We're just gonna take a rest for like a few minutes and uh, keep moving on, keep pushing ahead. Probably gonna have some food in the jungle. As we hike deeper into the trail, the landscape starts to unfold itself. Lowlands and rice fields give way to sparsely covered hilltops. And we just got up from this very steep hill here and the scenery from here is just gorgeous. Not before long, it was time for lunch and we all sat down and enjoyed the view and the food together. So this dog has been following us for the last, I don't know, uh, two hours. So I think he's gonna keep going and he's gonna hang out with us for the next two days. We're having some sardines over here, cane sardines. These are just uh, some cold cuts, meatloaf. There you go, these guys are preparing it. There you go. Mặn lên là bể lắm after hiking super hard it's all worth it super 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 good wow and we just got done with lunch we're taking a five minute break everybody's just chilling smoking their cigarettes Alright, we're moving on now. Let's keep going on with the trek. Whew. We have about another 10 kilometers to go. And we have about four hours, five hours to go uh, before sundown to set up camp in the middle of nowhere. Let's see how it goes later, right? <laughs> This guy just fell. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's got back. Man, we're busting our asses off. We're in like fancy gears and stuff, like North Face boots. And these guys just wear like classic Vietnamese slippers. That's all they need. <laughs> Look at that. All of that. These guys, nothing but slippers. Insane. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're in the middle of the jungle now. We're in thick of bush now. Just found a uh, found a snake. So the snake just just ate something. The belly is huge. Let me just look at this. So we just said goodbye to the snake and the uh, the pine forest. Now we're heading deep into the jungle, into the rainforest here. I mean, okay, it's getting a little bit uh, creepy out here. Oh, you okay? We just found a camp. Look, it's not our camp, it's just a stop. <laughs> so the reason why we have to stop here and drop all our gears down because motorcycles cannot get up that hill and this is where the motorcycle trip ends when we're and now we're gonna have to start to carry um, our own bags <laughs> for a change right i mean that that slope is just intimidating uh, but that's nothing we have a whole lot more to go <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to carry our own bags right now um, i have a tiny little bag because all my camera gear camera <laughs> equipment is in here the boys are carrying like you know like camping equipment um, all the tents and, and you know all the um, uh, cooking equipment we're gonna take turn you know with the boys so now they're offering um, to carry the heavy load first up the hill um, because they are they say that they're used to this area so they don't want us to get hurt but um, once we reach like even ground we're gonna switch it out and we're gonna carry the bag take turn
We're taking another break here. We're about 200 meters up. These guys are our beasts, man. They just keep on trekking. Insane. We're slowing them down by a lot. So we're heading into the less traveled part of the jungle of the forest right now. And we have to clear our path to go through. Um, this path is usually used by all the um, the lumber jacks, you know, lumber jacks. Uh, yes. So here we go. Mm. Oh man. One. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bám cẩn thận lên rồi. Wow. Wow. We are deep in the forest now, and I can't help but keep thinking about the countless stories about this place. Da Nang has the highest fatality rate among the forest in Vietnam. Approximating one person dies every year here, and many more goes missing during rainy season. Locals and trekkers recounted hearing voices calling out to them, urging them to separate from their groups. For those that got rescued, they still have a hard time recounting exactly what had happened. Locals and porters here advise outsiders to seek permission from the forest to spend a night here, and that they should not refer to the forest as their home, or that they want to stay here. And yet despite the obvious dangers and objective hazards of trekking and surviving in a tropical forest, every year thrill seekers and survivalists come from around the world to conquer this forest, mostly on their own. It's a calling for some and a religion for others. It is a chance to test one's own limits and to do what so few have never done before. This is, no tourists would ever come in here, okay? The people that only come in here are the locals and the people that come in with the locals. You don't venture in here. This is in the oldest part of the forest. You have nowhere else to go. Oh, come on, oh. And they just cut out the stick, man. Here we go. It's beautiful, beautiful stick. Oh. Mm. And this is the size store. Okay, I'm going to size store. I'm going to Got a new one. Very solid. Ôi, mà mà cắt cái đầu nó hơi cong cái này cầm cái này tốt chứ. Dạ, tốt gì. Cái này là lá gì vậy Sơn? Đây là lá chua, lá chua hả? Yeah, lá cực kỳ lá này dùng để nấu canh chua. Nhưng mà ăn Đâu bây giờ được không? Đã được. Và nó có chua không? Cực kỳ chua. Mình lấy một lát hồi mình nấu được không? Lá này dùng để nấu xíu mình sẽ nấu với món rừng. À, thế bây giờ Đó. mình lấy luôn nhá. Ok. Ok. Anh Tao à, thử anh nếm Anh thử. Ừ. Chua lên vậy hả? Ừ. Hmm. Ok. Hmm. The sour leaves. Let's see how let's see how it tastes like. Oh, mmm, cái này chấm muối ngọt lắm nha. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's like a green mango. Oh, ngon quá. Ngon nè. Wow, ngon luôn nè. Giống ăn cốc vậy nhỉ? Ừ, giống ăn xoài xanh vậy đó. Mm, ngon. Ngon nè. Ngon chén không? <cười> Ở đây, ở đây là có lâm tặc hả mọi người? Mang về kỹ nhận à, à, ngày, ngày, ngày xưa thôi à, Ngày xưa ừ. cắt bỏ rồi không? Bỏ nghề rồi ừ. Ở đây ai ngày xưa lâm tặc? Một hai ba Ai lâm tặc? Mình là cái tặc Cảm nhận sao? Quá mệt Quá mệt hả? Ở nhà ở nhà có máy lạnh không không ngủ, không nằm Có đường tốt không đi Lựa cái đường xấu nhất để đi Bắt buộc phải đi cái lựa đường mà xấu nhất Bắt buộc đi đường xấu nhất Chết mẹ không có đường Này là không có đường luôn There's no road, there's no path to go We're just creating our own path Chết mẹ There's this whole tree here, this fallen tree here. This one's all rotten. This one's all rotten. Okay. 
and at the same time these guys are tracking a boar a wild boar bắt chân heo rừng hả có như nào vẽ vẽ hơi sơ sơ ra được không cái 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 gót hai cái móng của nó hai cái móng của nó Oh. And we just reached our camp, our base camp for tonight. Uh, the plan was gonna go to another, like a bigger creek, but um, the trek took a little bit longer than we expected. And um, it's a beautiful spot right here, so we're gonna camp here. He just fell and landed on his ass, but uh, he's all right, so uh, that's good. Yep, you heard me. Tap holes for dinner, and uh, we're gonna cook up some rice. Basically, gonna go trying to find some uh, protein in this uh, forest, but I doubt it. That's protein, but you can't eat it. Too cute. We just took our shoes off. We took our shoes off too. Uh, so now we're taking our clothes off. Hey, đúng rồi, chuẩn luôn đó. Yeah, the headrest in the car we brought them with us, and we're taking our clothes off so we, that we can uh, um, bathe here in this creek here. So a change of plan, we're actually gonna go try to get some uh, tadpoles in this small creek here and uh, cook them up for uh, dinner. So all the boys are coming. Man, we just climbed up this this creek here, this wall here. It's just like, a, this is like a 10 foot drop here. And the tadpoles are like the size, like twice the size of my thumb. It's like the size of my big toe. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Oh man, I don't know why we ditched the shoes. That was not a smart idea. Okay. They're like the size of like fish, you know? Unbelievable. Wow. Trời ơi, phải dỡ hết đá lên luôn này. Wow. Đây tạt đó. Đi vô bên. Wow. Wow. Tô thế này, cái này tô kinh khủng luôn. <laughs> wow, look at the cow there, man. Oh, a little bit of it. Look at that, man. There, there, there. Anh em ai cũng dám nhỉ? Xin thật. I mean, just by the look of these guys, you know that they, they, they live in jungles, they live in the jungles, and they're adapted, their body is adapted to this place. They, they're tall and skinny, and you know, there's a big lack of fat in, in their muscles. You know, they're, they're just out here every day, just hustling. It's crazy. So this one is kind of done already. I'm moving on to this one. As you can see, the water just started to come down. So now they're done. They're moving on to this one here and they keep moving down the slope that, that way. Oh, con to rồi con này con con nhỏ nó wow sao mà bẻ chân nó hả bẻ chân nó sợ nó nhảy à đúng rồi cái con nó đứt bút cho nó mình mình tìm mấy cái làm cho nó sao ờ thôi nó bị la luôn con bẻ cái chân nó I've never seen tadpoles this big before. These are the Vietnamese giant tadpoles. These are probably the biggest tadpoles in the world. And uh, oh, there we go. Wow, there we go. Wow, 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 w
Wow. And um, I, I have no idea what it what it tastes like, but uh, they're probably gonna taste a little bit meaty, a little bit like like the fish meat. But uh, it's gonna be great. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of intimidating too, though. And also, we're not too sure about these uh, toads and uh, the frogs. We're not too sure about the uh, frogs that they just caught. We're not too sure if we can eat them or not, whether or not they're poisonous. But uh, these guys said they're uh, they're fine to eat, so uh, I guess we trust them. Yeah. Đây là có đĩa hả? Đĩa gì? Đĩa đá. Đĩa đá mình chưa? Nó chỉ bám mấy cục đá thôi. Ờ. Đây là chân mình. Đây là đĩa. Thế tiếng địa phương là tụi em gọi nó là kiệu bút kiệu bút nhà kiệu bút kiệu bút à, ăn ngọt cực kỳ ngon nhưng mà đây gọi là con còn được còn ừ. hơi nhỏ nếu một con cái nó bự à. con này nở con này đúng rồi, đúng rồi. con này là ít là ít con của nó ô con này ít của con của con này dạ. con con sai mẹ cái con còn một con ít kết to trong đó nữa con ít đen kia đơn thua à. à. con đấy là thà xe nó sọc như vậy Thế. Con này là loại khác ừ. Cũng ăn được luôn à, Ăn được luôn à, Kiểu Kiểu da yeah. Kiểu da yeah. Kiểu tàu Kiểu da yeah. yeah. wow. yeah. <cười> Ok cái này mọi người đang làm gì vậy nhỉ So all the guys here they are preparing the tadpoles right now They are gutting the intestinal organ And just removing everything on the inside out, um, out. And they're putting the clean one in the buckets right now um, basically these tadpoles eat a lot of like dirty stuff in the the, uh, the pool water poles up there near the waterfall as you saw so that that's what they're doing right now and lát nữa cái món này mình sẽ làm món gì ha mọi người canh những canh là nấu với lá chua này đúng không đúng rồi okay. mình có nướng hay là mình kho xào hay là mình làm gì được nướng ớt à nướng ớt nè okay so that's, here you go now we're losing the light right now I cannot wait to show you guys before it gets really really dark Vì tre đó có nó sắc hơn cả dao Ồ, oh, cái ruột là bỏ hết luôn <cười> Giờ sẵn sàng trả một triệu cho một chai nước ngọt rồi mình có tẩy giá <cười> <cười> Chết nổi anh em Anh nói thật không? Sao nó điêu Điêu bạn mang lên liền Hai, hai lo lấy hai triệu Rất <cười> đẹp Lo thứ hai là giảm rồi nha Đó, ngay còn hai trăm ngàn <cười> Lên đầu cái kinh yeah. 200 ngàn cũng có thằng nó chở vô luôn rồi yeah. Hai lon chiêu hai lên cũng được Mà hồi xưa trên đây là rất là nhiều người đi làm khai thác gỗ Hầu như ai cũng làm đúng không? Phụ nữ cũng đi thôi Phụ nữ cũng đi luôn, wow Bây giờ bây giờ xã hội nó, nó phát triển hơn là nhiều nghề khác làm nó tốt hơn Nó lành hơn so he's oh. So he's carrying all the planks from over there, from that uh, little camp over there, and moving all the planks to over here, so that later we can all sit on here and have dinner just right outside our tent over there. Amazing people. I mean, um, we're helping, but we're nowhere as helpful as we wanted to be. These guys are basically doing 95% of it, which is like we're every time we try to do something, help something, we're just like getting in their way. <laughs> Amazing dudes. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, oh. As you can see, surviving in the forest, primitive techniques, but this sometimes modernity is required. Cơm này là đầu bếp này là chánh đó. Đó, chánh nấu. Đầu bếp nấu cơm hơi nhiều nước. Thế là anh em quá trời. Chang is friendly, but compared to others, he is not talkative. He was curious what cheese would taste like, so we gave him a piece. Sao được không? Được. Ngon lắm. À, nó giống cái gì à, Chang? Cảm nhận như thế nào? Ngọt, bùi, béo. Ăn bơ đồ phụng này. Mày phải nói mặn mặn. Mặn mặn à? Hơi mặn mặn. Mà nó có giống món gì Việt Nam không? Món gì chắc? 
ai ăn phân bò <cười> bó tay ra mày ra cắt cái này, này ra ăn ướt phải làm do tụi em phải ăn nào màu màu đen màu nâu á mà tụi em lâu rồi chứ mấy cái màu đỡ. này nó nhìn không có đẹp cho lắm không được ưa thích cho lắm nha em không xài đâu it's guys hilarious It's just amazing these guys speak their own language. It's called the Juru language and it's amazing. It sounds very similar to Malaysian. That's what they said. And it does sound like that too. I mean, it's just so incredibly different in in such a cool way. And they're they're Vietnamese, you know? They're my own people. They're just like, you know, a few hour drive from from where I live and I get exposed to a whole other culture. But still share a lot of similarities. Pretty cool. Hmm. So I saw him. So he basically he added some canor chicken stocks in it, and he put some lemongrass, some shredded, um, cut up lemongrass, some scallion heads, and some what is it, um, hot chili in it, and you know let it boil for a little bit, and he put the sour leaves in, cook it up really really well, and then put the um, the tap holes in. I cannot wait to, to try this. I've never had a tadpole in my life. It's something that we, we you know, grew up you know, feeling really disgusted toward, you know, like you're not really gonna eat those. And the ones that we usually saw, like the tiny little ones like this, you know, not about the, the size of your pinky nail, but these are gigantic. Ừ. Cảm thấy kinh nghiệm vào rừng của mình là vứt <cười> Nói chung là học lại từ đầu We're stir frying some uh, river shrimps right now And uh, grilling the frogs out Yeah, these are really really good There are two crabs in there too And uh, just basically just uh, salt and pepper Because you know, river shrimps, they're already good on their own Alright, let's go eat. Mọi người còn là việc khác nữa. Cứ làm đi không? Sới múc cơm múc canh qua đó luôn. Đúng rồi. Rồi canh con con nồng nọc thôi, đừng rau gì hết. Rồi, ok. <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, we have no lights out right now. It's getting real dark. We're losing the light, but I'm trying to tap hold for the first time right now. So let's give it a try. Này ăn nguyên xương luôn, cứ nốt hả anh em? Nhai Okay. Here we go. Nhìn bây giờ coi tôi mà đi. So it's very bony. The the tail is very meaty. It's slippery in a way. It's kind of slimy. Tao sẽ ngon. And um. But the head is very bony, so yeah, it's mostly just bone left at the end. The um, yeah, the, it's very sour from that sour leaf, and it's very, very good. Wow, first time, <laughs> it's very weird. If you don't like slimy stuff, you're not gonna like this. Anh em ơi, ngon lắm. Ngon như thế nào? Nó trơn, nó trơn hơi giống cá khoai, nè. Cá khoai. Nhưng mà mình biết chắc chắn là cái món tôm rim nước mắm này sẽ rất là đỉnh này. Đơn giản mà dễ ăn. Cay ngon. Cành quá ngon nha <cười> ừ, Nhưng mà bên trong rất là nhiều thịt nhé Cái con nó nồng nọc bên trong nó thịt không à Nhưng mà cái đầu thì đúng là dầu, đầu giống cá Cá bóng Thế thứ ba ạ Dạ Ờ, ếch nướng rồi Ếch ở đây là Mình ăn không gian chính rồi chứ còn Ếch nướng thì tôi ăn mới hay ăn đó Ếch tưởng Ếch thì nhanh chấm mắm tiêu á Đi đường mà được ăn thì ngon bái trái luôn Thôi thử cái đùi nha Lần này mày dòm thẳng cái mặt anh được không? Đúng rồi Ok, we're trying the frog legs right here Here we go Lại quay đi rồi làm yêu mà ăn nhậu một ly chuyện đi anh thích ăn cái thân đó nè cái đầu nó xương nó cứng quá cái thân ngon 
Wow. Đây anh em ơi, cái đây là ly rượu tình cảm nhá. Bởi vì là một ly bình thường mỗi người một ly nhưng đây là một bát truyền nhau. Theo này là... Nói chung là Covid là gì đấy? Ừ. Ờ, bây giờ Covid là không sợ nữa. <cười> Đây, mời mình uống đầu tiên nhé mời xin mời rượu uhm. nấm đinh chi rồi à, là mời anh em nhá cảm ơn anh ừ. em thank you rồi rồi all right that's it for tonight's video guys I am done there is no light out we're about to go to uh, frog hunting right now after dinner and I am so full right now. First time having dot colds. It was uh, slimy. It was amazing. It was really incredible. Uh, best experience ever in a jungle with a bunch of really cool boys. Wow. This guy is holding a bucket, wearing nothing but slippers on his feet and singing in the back, making sure I don't fall to my death. Hát nữa, bỏ đây. Hát ghê thật. So in order to get to the center part of it, the edible part, they're going to have to fell the whole tree. The whole tree, this is very similar to coconut tree, that's what they said. And um, there's, similar, there's something similar in the western part of Vietnam where I filmed the uh, floating market. They have the uh, the uh, in Minh Tây, which is pretty much very much the same. And the very inside part of it is very soft and tender and white, and you can eat that. So my brother and I, we all feel really bad for felling this whole tree. This tree here took like um, 10 to 15 years to grow, but um, let's say that's, that's what they do. That's how they, they live their life in the jungle and we're not going to interfere. And um, you know, we, we asked multiple times, but they were like, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Well, who am I to come in here and tell them you know, what to do and what not to do in um, basically the backyard? So the very top is very green, a uh, little bit mushier than the trunk. The trunk is very hard to get into. And now they they clear all the top leaves, try and get into the edible part right in the center of it. It's gonna take a whole lot of work. It does make you appreciate, you know, the um, the convenience, the modernity that you you get living in the city. You can get everything shipped to you for like a dollar, two dollars. Everything can be shipped to you. Everything is right at your fingertip. And here, you gotta survive. You gotta live using the knowledge that was passed down to you, the experience that you get living in these jungles. And just your wit, just amazing people. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Oh, no. Oh, mm. Nó giống như là măng đó. Dạ. Từ mm. mà. Alo rồi. Ngon đó. It, it's very good. It's um it's it's a little bit chewy but it's super super tender. If you ever had bamboo shoot it just tastes like that. It tastes just like that. It, it's very clean. No, no funny smell at all. It, it's just watery and beautiful. Wow. Mmm. Ngon lắm. Mềm nè. Ngon lắm nè. Ăn hết đi. Cái này hơi giống cụ dừa. Ừ. Đúng cụ dừa. Cụ dừa luôn á. Ngoài ra thì nếu mà đi rừng á, mình không có cái chỗ mà nằm thoải mái thì mình có thể lấy lá của nó. Cắt từng khúc cái lá này mình chạy vô lớp dưới. Rồi mình nằm ở trên. Thì sẽ nó sẽ... Em khi mà mình ngủ vào ban đêm 
nhưng mà cái cái cây như vậy thường có thường xuyên ăn không bởi vì một cây nó rất là tốn thời gian để mà nó có thể mọc cao lên được như vậy khi mà mình đã vào rừng sinh tồn thì bắt buộc phải ăn ừ. sau một tiếng một tiếng tiếng dưới không tiếng tiếng dưới after an hour an hour and a half of, of chopping and cutting that's all we got như là xuống một nguyên một cái cây mà chỉ cần một cái này thôi <cười> yeah. quá kinh khủng ok ok rồi đi thôi <cười> so this is the whole tree here that we fell which is taken to the very top of it wow All right, we just got to our uh, first stop for lunch. Oh man, the water is super cold. Let me show you. <laughs> Yeah, all, all three of us are trying to catch some for, uh, for, for lunch. See how it goes. Let's go right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it. Come on. Cái ăn mà thấy có con tôm nào nó bén nhất là anh ấy, bắt nha. Just simple instant noodle, but we're so tired, so it's freaking amazing. Heaven. As you can see, no rope, no gear. Oh man, if we break an ankle here, we're stuck here for a long time. The key is to go slow. <sighs> this is what we've been on for the, for the last half an hour. We've been on to this. Come check it out. So they climb all the way up there. Man, these guys are insane. This is basically their backyard, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna risk that. that that's crazy. Oh my god. Way to go through. Ah. 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 Ah.
một thành viên im lặng nhưng mà rất quan trọng của đội hình <cười> luôn luôn bảo vệ sân nhà And this is the final product here. It's beautiful. The inner part of the the center part of the uh, coconut tree that we fell down earlier tastes amazing, and and it's really really good. The shrimp that's just super super fresh. And here, you know, hey, these guys, they they do everything. You know, I'm I'm just glad to be able to help out as little as I did. Doesn't matter, right? Okay. All right, let's try this. Cảm giác là hôm nay là Perfect. chỗ này chỗ này là đẹp hơn qua Đấy. đồ ăn nữa rất là đỉnh. Đó, quá ngon. Đây con lao một tiếng chặt cây đấy. Ah, uh, let's try this. Phải có. Ừm. Trời ơi. Ừm, mm, chấm xì dầu ngon lắm mọi người ơi. Đừng quan tâm nữa. Ừm. Mm. Wow. Tastes amazing. Món xào này không biết có hợp khẩu vị không nhỉ? Quá ngon nè Thêm quá, cùng dở ẹt thì mất mặt lắm ừ. Tad pole soup This is amazing Cái này là quá ngon luôn Cái này là đỉnh nấu nữa đúng không? Đúng rồi Quả như là đỉnh Mà đây kiểu khác không phải kiểu chua Ừ, không phải kiểu chua Hôm nay bữa ăn mình là quá ư là cải thiện đấy nhỉ? Có cái chua là <cười> Super good It's nice to be surrounded by, you know, a bunch of brothers. Brothers that you just, you know, meet a few days ago and they just instantly connect. Hmm. Instantly get together. It's amazing. Thiếu gì thiết? Chà, thiếu quá ngon đấy. Thiếu gì? Chà mở đi. Cái chén đó đi. Living in this world really shows you, you know, what really matters. Bấm lên. Yo, chúc sức khỏe mọi người nha. Yo, hai đầu bếp. Yo. Yo. Cái này mới bị 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 té. Bóc 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 trên trước đi. Bóc bóc này đi. Bóc trên trên đi. Đó, cầm cầm cầm. Cầm cầm. Cầm cầm. Dễ dễ trên. Đó. Ngon quá. Ừm. Ngon quá. Ừm. Mấy con mấy con tép mỡ với cá. It's not cook all the way through as a 95% cook but It's still very good. It has that bamboo flavor, bamboo taste to it. Very beautiful. Wow. It's not sticky rice. It's regular white rice, but it's very, very beautiful. Wow. Oh, oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm. Hey. Mmm. Nhà cơm mẹ nấu không ăn một tí nào. Lên đây ăn ăn chè không nữa thì. Mmm. Hey. Quá ăn sát đi. They're almost done with the uh, stir fry shrimp. <laughs> I'm so proud. Very good. Ah, no, no way. Ah, so good. So good, em. Bóc ra con tay. So lắm rồi. Bóc thêm con tay nữa. Này, ra luôn. Mày láo à? So lắm rồi. Anh đâu nhầm? Em không sợ đâu, em chả ngã đâu. Năm. Anh chạy rồi. Lên rồi. So chưa? Cũng lên ăn hả? Cũng lên rồi, ăn gấp đôi hết. Cũng ăn gấp đôi hết. Ừ, không cần phải xem nữa. This is like blackjack, but it's bullshit blackjack. <laughs> Good morning to everyone. This is our third morning here in the jungle, and um, I want to show you what it looks like and what it feels like um, as we camp here in the jungle. It's about 5:45 in the morning right now. I just got my coffee right here. This is a big bowl of coffee that everybody should share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the camp is a little bit messy right now, but we clean up everything. We pick up every piece of trash and plastic. We don't leave anything here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. Just enjoy the scenery. Just a little bit more before we go. He's watching videos of his kids. It's only been three days, but he's missing his kids. I'm not letting him bắt tối qua luôn đâu. 
Dạ không không, không được nhiều ếch ha. Dạ. qua có rong nọc cho nên là mấy anh em không bắt ếch nữa ha. Không phải với lại cái ếch ở đây nó nhát quá. À. This guy is taking a bath at 5 o'clock, 5:45 in the morning, right in the middle of the jungle. The water is freezing cold though. It's not a joke. We call this guy Bo Cao of Vietnam that he's ripped and a little bit dark like Bo Cao, best fighter in the world. All right, we're heading home right now. Let's go. Đi nào mọi người. Chim già đốt rác. A dog is always ahead. Always the first one to go. Boom. All right, we have about six hours of trekking through the uh, thick jungle. And then I'll see you back at the house, okay? With all the uh, cold beer and cold soda. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. If I make it out of here. Mình lên núi hơn một tiếng đồng hồ nha các bạn. Liên tục. Lên núi dốc, dốc liên tục nha các bạn. Không có đường đi. Để cho anh. So we're in the middle of this hill here, and this is the spot where where they used to collect wood. Cái này là cái gì? Cái cây này là cây cây rỗi. Cái cây rỗi là cây người ta để làm bàn hoặc làm giường. Một tấm của nó có thể hai ba người nằm. Được luôn. Và cái cây này là khoảng bao nhiêu tiền một khối ta? Là nó hiện tại giá của nó một khối là mười mấy hai trăm? Mười triệu. Mười lăm. Mười lăm triệu. Nhưng mà trên này người ta chặt rồi đổ cây xuống rồi lấy máy cưa thái lớp rồi như vậy đúng không? Xong người ta đem về bằng cái gì? Ta chỉ lấy lõi Xe máy hả? Xe máy chạy đường này xuống á? Sao không người ta sẽ có một cái dây tời á, à. dây cáp Thì cái máy máy bình thường, máy như xe của mình hôm qua à. Nhưng sẽ có một cái lớp máy đổ à. Cái này là cái lớp sen với lại cái, cái tổ, cổ, cục độ kéo tời của nó à. Thì người ta đổ máy xong bắt đầu cái máy cục máy nó sẽ kéo cuộn lên à sao buộc dây xích vào cái này miếng này xong rọc rọc lên đúng rồi. à ok hay quá nhỉ cái này cái hiện trường này là khoảng bao lâu rồi mấy năm không hai ba năm hai ba năm rồi ha wow ừ, này rất lâu một cái cây như vậy là khoảng bao nhiêu người thì là mình có thể đốn hạ và lấy được người tầm khoảng năm tới sáu người oh, wow. xin ha rồi right. rồi right. cảm ơn con despite concerted effort by the government aided by international backing Vietnam's forest continues to decline. Between 2010 and 2015, forest coverage fell almost 6%, or over 300,000 hectares. The loss of coverage was attributed to the difficulty of poverty-driven resource extraction and preventing illegal logging. Stories of corrupt officials and rangers turning a blind eye to illegal logging activities are not uncommon in Vietnam, including here. Vietnam's forests are home to over 1,500 species, of these, over 8% are unique to the country. The Vietnamese government has proposed plans for her rehabilitation. However, it is a bumpy process fraught with challenges. Meanwhile, the future of Vietnam's forests remains grim. There you go. Why not? We've been climbing this one hill for the last three and a half hours. <laughs> One hill. It's not even done. We're we're just sitting down here, exhausted and just talking about food, what we want when we get back to the city. Mọi người thích ăn gì? Mọi thích ăn gì? Đầu tiên mì kho. Đầu tiên mì kho. Hấp cẩm. Cho nên ăn gì? Sơn là bé. Cho cho gì ăn đấy? Hi guys. They have another trip tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they they have another trip tomorrow at seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, actually they they have a trip. You know, they're fully booked for this week. So once we get home, they're gonna pick up another uh, tour. 
Yeah, but this is another rat. This is like all natural. Nobody's ever been here because we know these guys. And they just took us into the jungle, willy nilly. <laughs> Insane. Hi. <laughs> you see, that's just unfair. That's just unfair. But uh, we're gonna get picked up by the motorbikes at the bottom of this very hill. So uh, the goal is to get to the motorbikes and then civilization awaits. Woo! Cold drinks await. Hi. Right. <laughs> I hear motorcycle sounds. I hear it. <laughs> Die I Woo That is my eye We're gonna trek home but right now we're stopping for some real light snack for like 15 20 minutes and then uh, uh we'll start trekking out but that hill over there earlier I said it took 20 minutes? No, that was only half the hill, so it took like 40, 45 minutes. Sorry for the nudity, we're all like exhausted. So again, we're having the the, uh, the rest of the meatloaf and um, some canned tuna, canned sardines actually, and then um, some rice that we cooked this morning and just have it with some um, soy sauce. That's all we got left. <laughs> We're here, we're at the spot where the motorbikes are gonna pick us up. It's right next to a beautiful rice field here. This is where we were a few days ago, but the motorbikes are here. Woo! <laughs> So the, the motorbikes, you know, they, they also brought like sodas and uh, and ice and sandwiches Ooh. and all kind of <laughs> snacks. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Waited two days for this. Oh man. <laughs> It's amazing, you know, makes you miss, you know, what, what you have in life. Do not take anything for granted. <laughs> wow. What? 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 Trust me, I have never been so emotional and happy to see some motorbikes in my life. Man, do they look beautiful. <laughs> then we took the same path that we had taken a few days ago. We rode through a slash and burn and all I could think about was how my ass was on fire sitting on steel bars. I felt every dip and every groove on the trail. We got back to the house and I took the longest hot shower of my life. Then we went out for some beer and enjoyed the rest of the afternoon together. 
We stopped at a local shop near the house and we salvaged whatever the shop could cook up for us. Nothing fancy, just a few fried eggs, stir fried vegetables, some strange smelly organ meat. Oh, I can still smell the, uh, the inside of the... Uh, I can still smell the, um, the pig. Oh my god. It's not clean very well, but pretty much the best here. <laughs> pretty much what you get here up in the mountains. You know, there's only this one spot that sells, you know, beer stuff. So, uh, yeah, that, that's all you get. You can't ask for much. Yo, Nemo. Yo, 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 yo. Made it. These dishes may be overly dry, overly oily, salty, or just plain old simple. But trust me, at this very moment, they are some of the best foods in the world. In a way, I like to think we had earned this meal. And it was finally time to say goodbye. For three days and three nights, we broke bread together, we struggled, and survived together. We stuck together and made it safely through this vast, deadly forest. That deadly yet beautiful forest had given me a newfound respect for Mother Nature and the limitless capability of humankind. It has opened my eyes to how far removed we are from nature, living in the cities. How little we know and how we take almost everything we have for granted. I'd like to thank my brother, son, who took months to plan this trip. My cousin Chung, for always being there for me, and last but not least, to the gentleman who safeguarded us on the trip. We met as strangers and left as brothers. May we meet again. To my viewers, thank you. Stay young, stay hungry. Thank mm -hmm. you.